Breaking right off the top now of the Fox 8 6 o'clock news. The Alamance County Sheriff has confirmed searchers have found a body in the water near Travis Creek Bridge in the Durham Street Extension. This is an area north of Burlington, north of the Glen Raven community, and Travis Creek is a Haw River tributary. Good evening and welcome. I'm Neil McNeil. And I'm Katie Nordeen. That is the same area first responders have been searching for 19 year old Antoine McDaniel, who disappeared early Sunday morning. There's still no word on if it is McDaniel. Officials, of course, still working to identify that body. Fox 8's Natasha Lagur is live in Alamance County tonight, where crews are still working. Natasha, what have you learned? Well, the Alamance sheriffs did confirm that their team found a hoodie inside the water. And then later on, they called in the dive team to look at it, and they found a body and recovered it. Now, we know that investigators are working right now to ID the body, and the sheriff's office said they faced some challenges due to swift river water, rain, and limited access to the river. Now, the search began Tuesday after McDaniel's mother filed a missing persons report. The sheriff's office says McDaniel was in the car with three other people early Sunday morning on Robin Hood Drive. Now, deputies said there were reports of criminal activity, and at some point, a chase started with Elon police. Now, the group turned on the Highway 87, then onto Ruth Road. The driver did not stop at the intersection with Durham Street extension and crashed. Everyone in the car ran. Running from the law, uh, you know, he probably had a citation, something like that, but the uh, suspects had uh, uh, allegedly broken into several cars as the reason they fled from law enforcement. But even then, it's not worth giving your life for a stupid mistake you made. And again, investigators are working to ID the body they just recover. As, food, as we know so far, the investigation is still ongoing and the search will continue until they get more answers. Live in Elements County, Natasha Lagur, Fox 8 News.